It only goes so far to be able to say you're the cream of the crop in Class D football in Section 4. For the Tioga Tigers, they've been wanting to change that to cream of the crop in the state ever since falling to eventual state champ Randolph in the state semis last year and the year before. Tigers hoping the third time's the charm up in Salem Stadium in Rochester, but the first drive of the game, Ben Klinger muscling his way into the end zone for the score, and it's a 6-0 lead with five minutes off the clock. Still in the first, Adam Zweilen with a carry up the gut, but he would be chased down inside the five-yard line, and the drive would stall for the Tigers on fourth and goal. So to the second, the Tigers defense keeping a minute. Sam Burns, the INT over top receiver Mason Bosley, his second of the game already. It's six nothing into the half. More Tioga defense in the third quarter. Five minutes in, Dylan Babcock forcing QB Brian Morrison to backpedal into the end zone. That, my friends, is a safety. Put two points on the board for the Tigers, but just too many turnovers for those Tigers. Burns fumbling and the Cardinals taking possession into Tioga territory and Morrison scoring from two yards out from there. And that one seals the deal. The Tigers fall for a fourth straight year in the semis, three in a row to Randolph, 20 to eight. No, it is tough. You, you get to this point and this is the third time and you, and you want to take that next step for the kids. Uh, this is their goal and this is the, well now the fourth time uh, for our program that we've been here and, and not been able to take it up to the Carrier Dome. But, you know, at the same time, uh, you know, a week from now, I'm sure I'll look back at the season and just be very proud of, of what these guys have accomplished. It is tough. We wanted it so bad. I mean, we past years as part of this team, we lost right off and we won this win more than anything. Since last year, we won this win. And just rough, but I have no regrets, so. Tioga's season ends with a 10-2 record. Shenango Forks next up in the semis tomorrow at noon.